might fancy their chances. Darren Maloney is your commentator. The Blues are without star striker Christophe Dugarry, who hasn't recovered from a twisted knee. It's done and Forcell up front, which means there's no place for Clinton Morrison. Irish international Kenny Cunningham partners ex-Arsenal man Matthew Upson at the back. There's a start for Alou Cisse. Arsenal are paying the price for those incidents at Old Trafford as Vieira, Parler, Lauren and Keown are all banned. Another blow for Wenger was the loss of Wiltor to a groin problem. Gilberto Silva is only back from international duty and wasn't considered. There's a first start in the Premiership for 18-year-old French defender Gael Clichy, while Touré, Sigan, Edu and Dennis Bergkamp are all included. There's the referee for this afternoon, Paul Jerkin. And away we go at St Andrews, Birmingham playing from left to right in the first half against this understrength Arsenal side, still full of quality players, but those well-documented suspensions have robbed Arsene Wenger of some world-class talent. Dennis Bergkamp in for Arsenal, Henri scored three goals against Birmingham last season. Teasing the cover in front, that's Clichy, his first touch in Premiership football. Edu being hustled off it. Robbie Savage missed his challenge and Clichy can't keep that in play. Birmingham, such a, a mean defence in the Premiership this season. Eight clean sheets they've managed to keep. Did that come up off Camp's hand? Referee said no. Arsenal moving again, that's beautifully played through. Youngberg and Arsenal take the lead after three and a half minutes. What a beautiful goal. That's his third of the season. And they may be lacking some of their bigger names, but Arsenal, against this mean defence, got through very easily. Nobody went with the Swede, and the finish was absolutely superb from Freddie Youngberg. This is a great, great goal. Arsenal lead 1-0 at St Andrews. Started by Bergkamp, Henry just pushed it forward. Great start for Arsenal. Seagan missed it, so did Forsell. Campbell's header out. Savage, David Dunn there. And Arsenal still looking very threatening. Clichy to his left, Henry going himself. Has a Gumberg there, Henri, and Taylor takes it at the second attempt. Arsenal going very nicely. The angle for Henri, difficult from there. Clements was over there. Campbell just behind him. Dunn is in support. Clements doing too much. trying to anyway, Birmingham have the ball from the throw-in, Damian Johnson, Dunn, Clements again, Dunn getting back to his feet, Perez heads it away, Dunn, that's an interesting cross, and Lazaridis got out in front of Sigan, Sigan's Presence just enough to put the Australian off. Dunn. Gets it back from Clapham. Dunn goes low to Lazaridis. And Lehman making a fine save. That was certainly sent in with plenty of pace. And Birmingham just picked up the tempo. But Lehman stopped this from being really dangerous. Good save. David Dunn, trying to get in behind Toure, couldn't clear it away, it's out for another corner. And Arsenal are starting to look vulnerable, particularly over on that Birmingham left. Upson has come forward. Would dearly love to score against his old club. Really has settled in very nicely to life at St Andrews. Lazaridis takes the corner, Upson rose highest, but couldn't put it on target. And you feel that Birmingham needs something from this 
spell of pressure. More of the ball, getting into good positions. Unable, though, it has to be said, to force Lehman to make a save. Lazaridis again, hangs up there, and Lehman was struggling for that, did well to get any sort of a hand on it. He appeared to have misjudged it completely. But the German just watches positioning here. Deceived a little bit by where Lazaridis put the cross, and he did well to get a hand to that. Johnson. Done. Clements for sale. Again, beaten by Seagull. Now here comes Bergkamp. Great feet again from Bergkamp, and Jumberg is making that run through, causing problems, and Clapham did so well to get across there and put that out of play. Bergkamp and Jumberg combining just as they did for the goal. Perfectly weighted pass through, but Clapham did enough. Important challenge. Seagull. Manhandling Forcell, just brushing him aside. Free kick to Birmingham in a very good position. Just watch. Cisse moves away. He's going to take up a position in the Arsenal wall. There he is. Clements and now Don. And Jumberg, by the time they passed it to each other, was right out on top of them. Should really have made more of that. Clapham with the cross. Upson stayed forward. Arsenal defending that very coolly. Forcell missed it. Cole giving away the free kick. Paul Durkin has been taken already. David Dunn, Seagam with the interception. Prevented a lot of Birmingham moves from getting really threatening from an Arsenal point of view. Pascal Seagam. Jumberg. Trick almost worked. Savage. Forcell chasing this down. Saul Campbell using his strength to hold off the Birmingham player. Now, this is Henri. Bert Campus to the centre. Henri will go himself. Thierry Henri! That was just a whisker away from being Arsenal's second goal. Well, Bert Campus just too far behind. And Henri, well, they got in behind the Birmingham cover. His pace was superb. Edu takes the corner. Hangs up there. And Taylor's dropped it, but got it back. It was Campbell who just pulled on it Taylor anxious moments for the goalkeeper Clemens beaten in the air Cissé done good ball tap him onto it at pace Lazaridis wants to take on the Arsenal cover for sell. Tapo. Lazaridis. Cross in, headed away by Seagull. Savage got a, a touch to that. Well, he was indeed last to touch it, Robbie Savage. Upson. Now, this could be dangerous. Henri chasing this down. Freddie Youngberg is in the centre. Arsenal looking for a second goal. Almost an own goal. Kenny Cunningham. His blush is saved by Taylor. The break from Arsenal was superb. And the most relieved man in St Andrews is Irish international Kenny Cunningham. They were all caught going forward. Henri's pace put him in position. <laughs> Great save. They have to defend the corner now. Edu. It's a deep one. Campbell will put it, put it back in. That's Cunningham who clears it.
Clapham. Robbie Savage. That's on a back cross. Oh! Forcell was only inches away. Well, that was a glorious opportunity for Birmingham. And let's just see how close he was. Cross was fabulous from Savage. First decent one, and it was that close. Lehman was stranded. Forcell, I think, claiming he was impeded as he went for this. Well, he didn't really have a case, but that's more encouraging and better from Birmingham. Seagat really has played so well for Arsenal. In the past, has had some shocking games for them. Today, certainly not one of them. Kanu brings Toure in. There's the cross, and Bergkamp has the ball. Jumberg has got through here. Can he get a second goal and really seal it? Oh! across the face of the goal his touch just took him away great touch great skill initially from Freddie Umber but that second touch there dragged him away from the goal and the angle was just too difficult certainly is a buzz about the way they're playing the game Birmingham can they get back on level terms here's Clements now good run from Clements Johnson and plenty of players forward, and that's out for another corner. Edu in the right place to stop the cross going in, but it's come at the expense of another corner kick. Lehman just uh, having a word with Kanu. Opposite, what a story it would be if he could get this into the back of the net. Lazaridis, some awful corners in this game. That one certainly is better. Upson onto the end of it. The other 25, Toure got a touch. Clapham sends it back in. Arsenal able to cope. Canu a little bit untidy, but it's fallen nicely. And now Bergkamp is charging forward. He can see it now for Arsenal with a second goal. Dennis Bergkamp, oh, that is amazing. The coolest finish you will see anywhere from Dennis Bergkamp. It's three points for Arsenal. And his makeshift team have done the business in Birmingham. What a great goal, and Arsenal had been under a fair amount of pressure. Dunn was unfortunate. A lightning break, and Bergkamp, well, he still has the pace, doesn't he? And just watch this, lifted it over. Mike Taylor in the Birmingham goal. It's all over at 2-0. Arsenal have three more points, and I'd imagine very satisfying for Arsene Wenger. One back by Johnson, Cunningham plays it to David Dunn. Dunn sends it in quickly, Campbell, the header has come though to Savage, Robbie Savage with the cross, Forsell arriving, Cole did enough to make it very difficult for Forsell. Cross was a good one from Savage, watch the Arsenal number three, Forsell coming in behind him. Good defensive header. Lazaridis and Upsom went flying after that. Well off target. Upsom travelled a fair distance to get to this. Couldn't keep it down. All the celebrations with the England rugby team continuing at St Andrews even though the Birmingham supporters won't be celebrating a famous win over Arsenal. Freddie Jumberg. Toure. Edu. Difficult bounce for Cole to deal with. He did exceptionally well. This is Thierry Henry. Not on the score sheet yet. Perez will look for number three. Oh yes, the icing on the cake for Perez and for Arsenal. They are flying and their unbeaten record still intact. What a way to finish the game. Thierry Henry, you can go back even before that, but Ashley Cole's header, the ball bouncing awkwardly at him. Perez cut right through, toe poked it into the back of the net. A beautiful goal. They go to Milan in high spirits after a very fine win.
Excellent finish from Robert Perez. Very satisfying performance for Arsene Wenger. He said before the match that his squad had been decimated by suspensions and injuries, players on international duty, but they've coped very well. Clap up, there is the whistle for full time, and Arsenal showing that they have the players to cope with the loss of the likes of Vieira, Parler, Lauren Keown and Wiltord through injury. A very satisfying result for Arsene Wenger. Jumberg got the first, Bergkamp the second, Pires the third. Birmingham City outclassed at St Andrews. It's finished, Birmingham nil, Arsenal three. We'll be back with analysis after this commercial break. <laughs>